Hey, what's up YouTube? Rustavara here. Little update on the powder coat oven. Uh, took the day off, do some stuff mid-afternoon, um, and I just thought I'd do an unboxing of some things. Uh, I've been ordering stuff from Amazon uh, last couple weeks, still waiting on some things. Uh, powder coat oven's a little slow going, but uh, we'll manage through it, and uh, I'm going to just go over some of the items and give you some idea. Uh, I think we're around three, four hundred dollar mark uh, right now, and uh, towards the end of the video, I'll try to remember to go ahead and put a parts breakdown of everything I got, uh, excluding, you know, the deal I got from... Uh, my place of work but overall I think I've uh, you know done pretty good for just kind of piecing it together first item is insulation um, you can order this it comes in a box like this and that's your insulation uh, I'm gonna have to get uh, I got 11 more boxes coming but uh, let me give you a little bit of advice in your area research where you uh, get the product uh, the first go around I ordered mine off of Amazon uh, I got the product which I have no complaints about but I paid about double for the same stuff if I had just went down to my local Granger and got it uh, it was nine dollars and a penny I think it was for a box just like this and uh, That's where I kind of messed up because when I It came I noticed it had Granger on it. So I started researching and I looked the number up. I paid twenty dollars a box for it uh, nothing against Amazon they have to make their money and stuff but by the time I got shipping and everything it was right around nineteen twenty dollars a box um, I'm getting it locally just run down the road here I get it for nine dollars and one penny so I'll get uh, you know more eleven more boxes which is gonna save me you know a bunch uh, it was my fault for not researching it so nothing against Amazon or anything like that but, you know, kind of watch what you do because, you know, some of these companies, they're there to make money. And, you know, if y'all do the footwork and run around and, and you know, kind of research a little bit, bit and not get in a hurry like I did, uh, you won't lose, you know, $9 or whatever it is a box. But just thought I'd throw that out there to you guys. You know, research. You can find some of this stuff on your own don't you know just get on Amazon and think they're the one that's you know the only place to get it and you know jump on the bandwagon and hit the button and here it comes uh, I had to do a little footwork that's all I'm saying all right I'm rambling on that next couple items uh, this one I did get on Amazon Prime uh, I'm gonna have to check the receipt or whatever how much I paid for it but it's the uh, thermocoupler and I thought it said the uh, temperature on here but it, it it don't it it goes up to I think it was a thousand degrees or it may have been 800 I don't remember but the one that come in the kit wasn't you know really what I wanted and I'll show you it but so I ordered it this separate. I think it was $12 or something, uh, but it has a longer probe, and I'm going to try to set it in the center of the uh, powder coat oven. That way I get a better, better temperature. Um, this particular item is my oven heater. And uh, it's, I think, no, it don't say how, what the wattage or, or what. You can, can't can see it that well. But it's uh, 250, 200, 208 volts. 
Um, hopefully I can just get by with two. I ordered two of them. Is why I ordered one of these is it had to swivel on it so I could swivel it out. So if I want to put it in a certain spot or whatever, uh, I think it's going to work for what I want. And then I can put my self-tapping screws, if you can see right there. That's going to help me out a lot. And then this particular one has the, uh, I think it's Phillips head. Yeah, Phillips head screws. If it'll focus. Uh, but that's the part I wanted the most because uh, it's just easier and what I have planned. Uh, I think it'll be overall the best. Um, you know, I'm learning as I go. I'm not, by no means no expert at this. I'm just trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Alright, the next item I got. This is header wrap. Um, I think it was... I'll have to go back and look. 25 or 30 dollars for it. It may be a little less. Uh, this is just what you use to, to wrap headers, but I'm going to put it along the uh, the wall and I'm going to use it for a seal around the, the door and stuff. Uh, it, it's just one of them things, you know, I'm trying to get out as, as cheap as I can. Um, but I think this is going to work because I'm going to put it on all the uh, the metal studs. Uh, on the inside, I'm going to run it on all of these uh, down through there. That way, when I put my uh, dirt rock or whatever I decide metal wise, uh, it's not going to. It's going to take keep the heat off of the this part of it, and hopefully, it'll keep it in the oven. And hopefully, you can hear me. It's raining pretty hard. Um, it's nice that uh, this comes with its own uh, metal fasteners. Uh, I may use them too to help me. Uh, but I want to say it was $25 or $30 for the box to get two 250 foot rolls. You know, it should be plenty for what I need. If not, I'll order one more, and, and we'll just go from there. But hopefully, that will uh, help out and get me going anyway. The next one is the PID controller. This was $34, I believe it was. I wished I'd have paid a little attention, and I'm thinking about maybe sending this one back. Um... They really don't matter to me, uh, Fahrenheit, Celsius, uh, but, I, you know, I, I think it'd be better just to, to have, you know, what I, what I want, so, uh, and it comes with the, uh, brackets to mount it in your control panel and, and all that, and then you've got your, it also comes with your, uh, heat uh, shield here and the solid state relay and then this is the little uh, temperature deal yeah I went into town and to check on some things uh, metal wise and and that and uh it's just not feasible with the price of metal and and different things and the concrete uh board i think will be fine because the uh insulation is up to uh 1700 degrees i believe it is somewhere around in there so I'm not too worried. And then with that header wrap, it's about the same. Um, so I think the concrete board's gonna be my best bet and hopefully I'll keep all the heat in once it heats up. Uh, I've seen other people use it. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to save as much money as possible. 
Like I said, I have 11 more of the uh, insulation board. That's the stuff right here. And, you know, with the walls double th thick with it and door and everything, I'll have to come up with something for the outside of the door, metal-wise. But I, I think that's going to be my best bet for uh, saving a buck or two, you know. Uh, I'm trying to do this on uh, the low end. Um, hopefully, I'll only have about $500 in it. The control stuff, electronics and that, you know, it's um, that stuff adds up pretty quick uh, doing that. I've probably been better off to buy a board already built. They, they have them out there. Uh, but more later. Okay, to give you some idea what I'm doing here, guys, uh, I've got some red iron that I had uh, this lip for the door. My seal is going to go around this, and I needed something to uh, have solid uh, in between here because my door seal, I don't want it to go all the way up to the top here. I want to be able to run the door seal all the way around to where this is all connected. I may do a, a little scab in at the bottom. I've got a little channel of uh, red iron I might put down there. I don't know. I, I might get by with the lip like this that's down at the bottom because it's facing up. But this one was uh, facing in this direction. And once I put my door up against here, I was just afraid that the seal it wouldn't seal between here and here if I run the seal all the way to the top. If that makes any sense so what I decided I would weld this red iron in here that way the red iron will be good for my seal and hopefully I can run that seal along this to where it'll be all filled in and I won't have to worry about you know the door uh, bleeding you know letting some of the heat out and stuff I mean I know I'm gonna get a lot of heat coming out but i think i can uh, do it uh with a minimal amount of heat loss uh, but that gives you some idea you know what i'm doing here with the welding and stuff uh i'll go into more detail uh, on some of this other stuff i may start working on the door here in a little while and I'll bring you along on that. But right now I'm gonna weld this up. I don't know, uh, we'll just go from there. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm using the old school handheld, uh, the batteries in my uh, electric uh, Miller helmet are dead, so I'm gonna have to go get some batteries. So this old broken one will work for now. So hopefully you'll stay along for the ride.
And right now I'm going to try to adjust it to where I can. We'll just do this. It helps if you turn the welder on. Uh, you get the idea there guys uh, let me shut this off so I'm gonna hear a little bit I'm gonna have to do another piece of the red iron to the back back there because this was just a little bit taller than than my uh, uh, metal bracing or my metal 2 by 4s as I call them uh, I'm gonna put either Durarock or I haven't decided if I'm going to use galvanized. It's just one of them things, uh, you know, the lighter the better for the top so I don't have to strain so much, you know, screwing it up in there. And uh, I'm just one person, you know, doing it by myself. It'd be different if I had a little help. 
Um, and I just, here lately I haven't felt up to par to, you know, like we normally do, so. Um, but yeah, I'll probably put some red iron back there and then I'll have a couple more of these run long ways and then I can attach it here. And then like I said, I'll run my seal along here. And I bought some glue uh, and I'm gonna probably pre-drill these, but I'm gonna glue most of this on and then I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, I've got the uh, header wrap around here. I went ahead and doubled it up over on this side. I don't know if you can tell. Um, yeah, it just, I think it's going to work better with it wrapped here and my dura rock's going to go up against this anyway. And I think it'll help this corner of the door when it shuts. Uh, there's a kind of a, quite of a bit of a lip right here. Um, I should have probably pulled my studs out just a little bit more. Uh, but I think it'll work fine. Uh, just wanted to show you that. I got part of that in. Uh, you know, I've been working on the heater and, and different things. It's just been one of them days. been kind of jumping around, doing different things. What I can do, because uh, some of my stuff is in here from Amazon. Okay, guys, this is a heater, um, heating element. Uh, I guess this is the way I'm going to do it. I was going to do something a little different uh, with it sunk in to uh, the oven, but it just, uh, I don't think it's going to work for my application. And I just put it in this box, took my Dremel. These boxes aren't that expensive. And I just cut a hole in it enough to where I can mount this once my uh, boards are down. I'll probably put one in the back and one on the front or maybe one on each side but it should that should be plenty to screw it down here to hold it and then come in from the back run my uh, wire in here and I think it's gonna you know work just fine uh, it's you know it's just one of them things you gotta kind of improvise a little bit but yeah, I think that's going to work work good, and I think it look, it's going to look uh, pretty awesome, so more later. But that's where I'm at today with the uh, powder coat oven, and I'm going to work on this tonight, try to get this cut and everything to where it won't be too mumbo-jumboed up. Uh, like I said, you know, I've kind of jumped around a little bit today. I was going to pull the box off and work on that stuff but uh, I, I think I'm gonna wait uh, just to get the powder coat oven part it, itself get the insulation tomorrow uh, get it uh, in there um, I'm definitely headed towards the deer rock uh, it's only ten or eleven dollars a sheet versus uh, eighty dollars for the low end on, uh, I think it was 20, a sheet of 20 gauge galvanized steel was $80, I think is what they said, uh, a sheet. And I think I figured I needed about three sheets, uh, a little less than three sheets. Uh, he said he'd cut it uh, to fit. And he was a very nice gentleman trying to help me as much as he could. Uh, but. I'm trying to, like I said earlier, trying to do it on the low side and, you know, no more for than what I've got into it for a hobby deal. I think it'll be just fine. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching my videos and come along for the ride. Uh, hopefully, uh, this project's not going to drag out. It just seems like with me working a lot of hours, uh, I'm working on a lot of weekends and, and holidays and things and not getting a whole lot of time off to, to do it. And when I do get time off, you know, I just don't feel like coming out here messing with it. Uh, but I appreciate y'all watching my videos. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, 
and hopefully you're enjoying what I'm doing and hang in there guys we'll get this done and once again uh, don't forget to hit the like button and we will see you in the next video have a blessed day